In this lesson, you will learn how to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line and passes through a given point. In our first example, the equation of the given line is y equals one-third x plus two, which is written in slope-intercept form. In this form, m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Let's represent the equation of the perpendicular line in slope-intercept form as y equals m2x plus b2. Here, m2 is the slope, and b2 is the y-intercept of the perpendicular line. To write the equation of the perpendicular line, we need to find m2 and b2. The first step is to identify the slope of the given line. Here, it is one-third, right? So m equals one-third. That's all the information we need from the equation of the given line. The next step is to find the slope of the perpendicular line. Perpendicular lines always have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. This means to find the slope of the perpendicular line, we take the reciprocal of the slope of the given line and then change the sign. The slope of the given line is one-third. To find its reciprocal, just flip it. Then change the sign of the reciprocal. This equals negative three, right? Therefore, the slope of the perpendicular line is negative three. The next step is to find the y-intercept of the perpendicular line. To do this, use its slope and the given point. Since the perpendicular line passes through this point, the point's coordinates satisfy the equation y equals m2x plus b2, so we can substitute them for x and y into the equation. Replace y with four, m2 with negative three, and x with negative one. Now solve for b2. Negative three times negative one is positive three. Then subtract three from both sides to isolate b2. On the left, we get one, right? On the right, these cancel, leaving b2. Therefore, b2 equals one. Finally, substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with negative three and b2 with one. That's it. This is the equation of the perpendicular line in slope-intercept form. Now, let's try an example with an integer slope. We will also convert the equation to standard form after writing it in slope-intercept form. The given line is y equals negative four x plus three, which is in slope-intercept form. Represent the perpendicular line as y equals m two x plus b two. First, identify the slope of the given line. It is negative four, right? So m equals negative four. Next, find the slope of the perpendicular line. Since perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals, take the reciprocal of the slope of the given line and then change the sign. The slope of the given line is negative four. In fraction form, we can rewrite it as negative four over one, right? To find its reciprocal, just flip it. Then change the sign of the reciprocal. So the slope of the perpendicular line is one fourth. Next, find the y-intercept of the perpendicular line using its slope and the given point. Substitute the values of m2, x, and y into y equals m2, x plus b2. Replace y with zero, m2 with one fourth, and x with eight. Now solve for b2. Eight divided by four is two, and one times two is two, right? Then subtract two from both sides to isolate b2. On the left, zero minus two is negative two. On the right, these cancel, leaving b2. Therefore, b2 equals negative two. Finally, substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with one fourth and b2 with negative two. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. This is the equation of the perpendicular line in slope-intercept form. To convert the slope-intercept form to standard form, first eliminate the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator. On the left, you get 4y. On the right, distribute the 4. 4 times 1 fourth x is x as the 4's cancel. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then move the x term to the left by subtracting x from both sides. On the left, you get negative x plus 4y. On the right, these cancel, leaving negative 8. Remember, in standard form, the coefficient of x should be positive, but here it is negative. To make it positive, 
multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 simply changes the sign of each term. And there you have it. This is the equation of the perpendicular line in standard form. In the previous examples, the given line was in slope-intercept form, making it easy to identify the slope directly. In this example, however, the given line is in standard form. In this case, the first step is to convert the standard form to slope-intercept form to identify the slope. Start by moving the x term to the right by subtracting 2x from both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving 5y. On the right, we get negative 2x plus 7. Then, divide both sides by 5 to isolate y. These cancel, leaving y by itself. Now the given line is in slope-intercept form. From here, you just need to follow the same steps as in the previous examples. Pause the video and try finding the equation of the perpendicular line. The next step is to identify the slope of the given line. It is negative 2 fifths, right? So m equals negative 2 fifths. By the way, you can also find the slope directly from standard form using this formula. Here a is 2, and b is 5. So the slope is negative 2 fifths, which matches our earlier result, right? If you remember this formula, you can skip converting the standard form to slope-intercept form. Next, find the slope of the perpendicular line by taking the reciprocal of the slope of the given line and then changing the sign. The slope of the given line is negative 2 fifths. To find its reciprocal, just flip it. Then change the sign of the reciprocal. So, the slope of the perpendicular line is 5 halves. Next, find the y-intercept of the perpendicular line using its slope and the given point. Substitute the values of m2, x, and y into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace y with negative 6, m2 with 5 halves, and x with negative 3. Now solve for b2. 5 over 2 times negative 3 is negative 15 over 2, right? Then add 15 over 2 to both sides to isolate b2. On the left, to add negative 6 and 15 over 2, first rewrite negative 6 as a fraction, which is negative 6 over 1, right? Then multiply it by 2 over 2 to get a common denominator. Now, add the numerators. This gives us 3 over 2, right? On the right, this cancel, leaving b2. Therefore, b2 equals 3 halves. Finally, substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with 5 halves and b2 with 3 halves. This is the equation of the perpendicular line in slope-intercept form. To learn how to write the equation of a line that is parallel to a given line and passes through a given point, check the link in the description. But first, let's work on cases where the given line is horizontal or vertical. In this example, the given line is y equals 1. It represents a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 1. A perpendicular line must be vertical, written as x equals k, where k is the x-coordinate of the given point. Here, the x-coordinate of the given point is 4. So k is 4. Therefore, the equation of the perpendicular line is x equals 4. If you graph this, the line crosses the x-axis at 4, passes through the given point 4 comma negative 2, and is perpendicular to the given line. In general, if the given line is in the form y equals a constant, the perpendicular line is x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. Try these. For the first one, the given line is y equals negative 9, which is a horizontal line. A perpendicular line is vertical, with the equation x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. The second one does not explicitly state the equation of the given line. It says perpendicular to the x-axis. Note that the x-axis corresponds to y equals 0. So the equation of the given line is y equals 0, which is a horizontal line. A perpendicular line is vertical, with the equation x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. What if the given line is vertical? How can we find the equation of a perpendicular line in this case? The given line is x equals negative 2. It represents a vertical line crossing the x-axis at negative 2. A perpendicular line must be horizontal, written as y equals k, where k is the y-coordinate of the given point. Here, the y-coordinate of the given point is 3, so k is 3. 
Therefore, the equation of the perpendicular line is y equals 3. If you graph this, the line crosses the y-axis at 3, passes through the given point 5, 3, and is perpendicular to the given line. In general, if the given line is in the form x equals a constant, the perpendicular line is y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. Try these. For the first one, the given line is x equals 8, which is a vertical line. A perpendicular line is horizontal, with the equation y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. The second one says perpendicular to the y-axis. Remember, the y-axis corresponds to x equals 0. So, the equation of the given line is x equals 0, which is a vertical line. A perpendicular line is horizontal, with the equation y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.